with the uh, ride ADV team and we're in Mittagong doing the introductory ride. Uh, today we head out to Oberon. There's about 20, 25 guys and girls on this trip and uh, we have a night in Oberon and then back to Mittagong tomorrow. This ride was originally scheduled for November of 2019, but was delayed by the never-ending drought, followed by bushfires. So it was put off until March of 2020, when of course we're right in the middle of COVID. Now we are in June and the ride's about to get underway. Right out we got everybody. Um, ride your own ride. <laughs> ride your own ride. Don't pass the best. Keep left. Why do we keep left? Because uh, someone like you might be coming someone the other like way. Someone like yourself might be coming the Someone like me, yeah. Um, pull across it and then do what you need to do. Don't lean on the tyre. And we'll talk about that over the next two days. Leaning on the tyre. You don't want to lean on the tyre. All right, we're going to continue that way. Question. Oh, question. Timber bridges. Quick timber bridges. Need to, if there's the guys up in the tight pressures, here's fine at the moment and we'll just go along. But I just want you to make sure you're watching the road surfaces all the time and picking your lines, and that's that's what's the, the biggest starting point to it all is. And we'll talk about weighting pegs later and cornering techniques, but I guess the first thing you gotta do is just work out where you are on the road. One thing I will share, um, for all the riding that I do, and if anyone knows me, you know how many involves I do, I've got something you need to share. I've never been through this track, ever. Mick, I'm using the mixing, I've never been through here. So for me, this is, and I don't often get to say that, so I'm pretty, pretty chuffed to be honest about that.
one, dude. It looks like it's stretched so far, it's not going to snap. Yeah. Creek crossings can be daunting, but creek crossings are confidence and not, not out thinking yourself. So you arrive at the creek crossing, have a look, okay? Have a quick look, make a plan. Well, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, all's going well so far. We're having a great time. We're just at the junction. We're about 16 kilometres away from Mount Weirong and we'll be heading off in about 10 minutes. Well, we just came through a particularly muddy section of the forest and I did manage to drop my bike but um, fortunately it landed on the right hand side so now I've got dents on both sides. Some of the bikes are getting pretty dirty. So dinner tonight is at the Royal Hotel in Oberon. We've got the choice of the tall pine, the thirsty fish and the sawtooth bistro. Well the bikes are a little bit cleaner this morning because we had a decent bit of rain overnight. That's going to make for some interesting track conditions as we get out there. Just heading off for breakfast. 7.30 on a Sunday morning in Oberon. There's not a lot open. So if you're looking forward to smashed avocado and a poached egg on uh, Turkish bread, you're probably out of luck. But I do recommend the bakehouse because they are at least open. They've got hot sausage rolls and coffee. In fact, lunch today is going to be a bag of chips, some Snickers and a cold sausage roll from the bakery. 10 out of 10 to the Ride ADV team. We're on day two of 
of our introductory ride from Oberon back to Litigon. Uh, this is described as an introductory ride, but I would suggest that if you've never been off-road before, do some level one training and then you'll be ready for this. This is not a beginner's ride, but it is a great introduction and these guys really are very capable. So we're going through the forest and we've encountered some mud. Move it out of the way. Not really necessary, not big enough. Someone talked about popping the front wheel up. Given the amount of traction and stuff around, I'd be a bit sketchy on that. You could end up wheel spinning, driving yourself into the log faster than you really want to. First gear, nice approach. Square it off. Self one aim for that. Straight over that. As soon as I got off, I just steer out. Nice and steady, standing up straight over. If you come Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Bit of a pain when they go down, isn't it? Just drop it over there. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Fuck. Everything's straight? Thanks, mate. I think you might need uh. it. Need someone on the end. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Where's he at, doesn't it? Oh. Everything's straight? Did you already have a broken lever? No, that's new. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Souvenir. <laughs> At least you can still use it. Yeah. bit of sunshine. Bit of minor damage from that last fall. Broke off the front brake lever but it's still operational. There we go because they're not a directional tyre and as soon as it started to do that I'd pull off and spin it round and then I'd get the other half out of it more than that that's steve's bike he doesn't matter so i'll run that a bit longer <laughs> if it was mine i'd get rid of it no that that's got a bit left in it mixed back tire well you're never going to wear it that much there but it does have them in the center there but listen that tire is at the end of its life now it's, it's not my personal thing i'm more of a pannier person uh, definitely soft but he's a luggage man he's the expert you can see over on Irish's bike, he's got a great basin saddle bag. The orange one now. Yeah, the the orange. Orange. And that's what they call a biomorphic uh, saddle bag. And that's why I learned the first to sort of come up with this style of design. And, and, and they've been copied by uh, the Old Rider, Moscow Moto, even Krieger in some of the smaller um, bikes. They've got, a, they've got a base system. Even Wolfman now has a, 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 an E base or a B base. E I was just asking if there's just a gauge. Um, just one. Uh, <laughs> is that a yeah just readjust the tire pressure
lunch break. Good time to get that sausage roll. Oh, great. Hell of a bloody thing. Well, as I come through that corner, I've looked as I come down the hill. I've looked as I've come down the hill, and to me, the corner's all clear, except there's a heap of people standing here. And I can use the, the burn part of the corner to hold me into the corner. That's what I was doing going up. Otherwise, you end up getting this awkward no man land. Like when we're coming up through Sallow Path, the pass, you sort of end up and there's nowhere to lean it or there's nowhere. Whenever I'm on any corner, if there's any sort of rut or anything, like, anything I can use the wheel to lean into, to push into. And, and Gawley talks about that all the time in his rides. So I believe the final challenge for the day is we're going to go across yeah, here, yeah, is that yeah. right? You're going first. Yep. Okay. My Good. advice. Now, if you want my advice, if you come down here, and I, so if you come, you, you, you come yep. down here, yep. you want about fourth here, and just lean back. Hold <laughs> on hard. That's right. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> Good luck. And use your bike. <laughs> Y26, who's going to be there? Yes! Going to be there? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. See you there. <laughs> See my, biggest smile, mate. My tired, ragged head. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had one. Oh, no. Yeah, pause. Like that. The girl goes like that. Yeah. Greg, it's pretty bright on one side of your face. Is it? Yeah, really bright. Yeah, yeah. going back and doing some other stuff on the way back the next day. Is it similar to what we just done or? How do you mean? Well, similar riding. Uh, no, similar riding, yeah. But uh, yeah, it won't be as muddy, I hope. And but we'll, that ride we'll be doing tools, what we carry, how to do a tyre. So you can't carry everything on one, so yeah. it's a bit like the one fries with that, so we just keep you know, rolling back into your train. <laughs> he probably did that on purpose. No, I reckon he probably did that on purpose. Subscribe now and let's ride.